Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Elden Ring. Today we are getting into Deep Root Depths, a zone which... The atmosphere here is so intimidating and hostile. It's like you've stumbled into a place that you were just not supposed to be. And you're greeted by an archery avatar. But thankfully, we have a lot of experience dealing with these now. I think the next jump attack should be... Whoops. Should be a guard break. Might not be the case now, though. say it's probably going to be this attack here. Nope. One more. There's two more. Get a heavy attack in to milk that for a little bit extra damage. Because the window to do that stays open for a nice long time. nice to have the whirly gig saw back. This one was worth fighting because we finally get the staff that they wield, the staff of the avatar. Ceremonial staff depicting the Ur tree in its historic radiance, wielded by the avatars who protect the minor Ur trees. The avatars emerging in the wake of the Elden Ring shattering were determined to protect the withering Ur trees offspring. So, they came about post-shattering. I think this one gets us the the attack that they used. can't remember. Oh, Golden Land. Uh, Golden Land is the name. It's the big golden AoE explosion that the avatars do uh, that spawns all the homing projectiles. That one, thankfully, didn't do it. It's the most annoying attack that they do. <laughs> And worse, while all the projectiles are going off at you, one at a time, in rapid succession, they usually try to also swing their staff. And yeah, we've also got a lot of, a lot of, uh, traipsing across tree branches here. Mercifully, the branches are all wide enough that it's not too scary to, to scamper across them. This is more figuring about figuring out uh, where to go rather than uh, too much difficult platforming. Just figuring out the right route routes and what you can and cannot jump to. So more importantly than that, Smithing Stone 6, uh, this puts us on a path to drop down onto uh, this intersecting branch coming up on the right, which then leads us into a cave that you can't access otherwise. And we got a lot more ants. Good news is, it's going to be two hits to smash them. And we can mostly get these ones one at a time. This is not the problematic part, though. One, two. Ooh. Oh, hello. That's okay. Aw, how did that do so little damage? That works. And then we have the mama. This is a new type of rune, the Newman's rune. This is the dicey part. Look at how many of them are clinging to the ceiling. If you drop down there, you're entering the Thunderdome. 
and you deserve the death that's coming. <laughs> Foolishness. God, the arc of this spell sucks. At least when locked on, you have to freehand all these. Can I do it? Oh, I sure can. Oh. Oh, that's, yeah, that clips that. More Newman's runes. They're still falling like raindrops. Come on. Yeah, yeah, good. Congregate in one area. Damn. A little bit too far. Perfect, right? Perfect! That is incredibly satisfying. That's not gonna do anything. Eh, I got two of them. Come on, I'm after that big one again. Aw. Come on, I need to recapture that feeling. <laughs> Very satisfying. Not really used to freehanding, so that's pretty fun. Now there are few enough of them left that I can actually come down here and have a reasonable chance against all of them. All the ones that are left. Now please don't do that. That makes my teeth hurt for some reason. <laughs> Oh, a couple of you were hiding behind the big butts. Big, thick ant butts. Mm, that is an early contender for the name of the episode, isn't it? <laughs> Please tune into this episode of Elden Ring, Big Thick Ant Butts. Yeah, that's, that's well-deserving of a flask replenishment. That is a lot of ants to deal with. But we get well compensated for doing so, because this is the spell Elden Stars. Legendary incantation, one of the most ancient. Creates a stream of golden shooting stars that sail the area. It's said that long ago, the Greater Will sent a golden star bearing a beast into the lands between, which would later become the Elden Ring. The Greater Will sent a golden star bearing a beast. And that's what became the Elden Ring. Do not forget this! Sometimes you find the most important pieces of information in the most random spots. Or at least the most unassuming spots. Finish Ant Hell Cave? get rewarded with the biggest lore drop we've gotten so far. <laughs> a golden star that became a beast, or a golden star bearing a beast that became the Elden Ring, like some kind of Elden Beast. Come to me, my bird. We have a lot of flying bastards to deal with. I hate the ants here so much. I hate these big scare these big hairy ants. They're wasp stingers. Oh. Woo! Oh. Okay. For a second I really thought that would work. I'll just try that again. Except, uh, with less visa cutting. Whoop! Off to a bad start. Good. 
Oh, yeah, get out of the sky. Get right out of the sky. Good. Birdie's keeping them well occupied. E. E. A lot of rocks here to line of sight the goo. And one more. Oh, no. How many of them are left? I'll let the bird take care of that one. Oh, the bird's almost dead. Wow, they're really tearing the bird up. Come here. This will... <laughs> no. Thought it would work that time, too. There we go! <laughs> it's working. Wow, that was a lot more than I thought there were. Oh? Oh my god, no. I've been cheated. <laughs> Luckily, it's probably nothing useful. But still. Maybe from Torrent? No. No. <laughs> Come on. All that work they made me do. And they're going to keep the reward just out of reach. Oop. Third. Good. Oh, one more. Hello. Oh, three. Four. Holy shit, I thought it was just one behind me and then the one who ambushed me. Nope. Wow, there's a lot of you. Please stop. Please stop this. So many of these bugs. So what's going on with this glow? Oh, it's from the butterflies. This wasn't worth anything. <laughs> Again, all this work fighting ants and it's not for anything. <laughs> Well, moving on. I think if we keep following this on the left, yeah, we got we get to a site of grace and uh, the finger reader. have died a true death as the first of the demigods to die as a martyr to destined death but why must it yet bring such disgrace a scion of the golden bow sentenced to live in death how could such a thing come to be? <sighs> so that's news, right? Like, we've heard repeatedly, Godwin the Golden, first demigod to die, knight of the Black Knives, etc., etc. But now we're finding out that he is one of those who live in death. He's essentially an undead, is what that makes him. And she even says he did not die a true death. He wasn't a martyr to destined death. But why talk about Godwin at all? And why basilisks here with their big freaky eyes? Which kind of remind you of those eyes that we saw in the face below Stormvale Castle, huh? So by now, it's pretty common knowledge. The thing about the basilisks in these games, they're 
bulging, uh, balloon-like eyes are not their real eyes, usually. They have smaller, uh, smaller little dotted eyes beneath them, and those are the real eyes of the basilisks. Elden Ring does something pretty interesting with the basilisk eyes, uh, that we've kind of grown so accustomed to. Their eyes are the same as Godwin's. A lot of malformed gargoyles in here. Also, should be noted that the basilisks uh, specifically inflict you with death blight. Uh, they don't petrify you, they don't curse you in this. It's Death Blight specifically. They they exhale it. Um, they they afflict you with that particular status. Again, connected to Godwin. I had a very hard time navigating this level when I first came here because I kept looking for the little obelisk where the map should be, but no, it turns out the map is on that corpse. Like, just in a random gazebo. Unmarked. Right, we get these headless eclipse nights uh, whenever there is a mausoleum around. You just kind of saw a glimpse of it, and you can also hear the bell ringing. Before we get to that... That feels a little sketchy, which makes me want to jump, but then I would probably end up jumping to my death there. Kind of overcompensating for it. Either way, five arterial leaves, not worth it. I think they help. Whoops, I didn't realize I was still... Uh, it's fine, you don't get fall damage. Uh, I think they're used for a bunch of good consumables, though, like... I want to say blood boil, aromatics, and... Uh, I can't remember the name of the the meat the meat that you can cook and eat the exalted flesh the damage boost one so deep root depths the impression that we're getting so far is that this place is somehow significant to Godwin and also to the Death Blight, judging by just how sickly and horrible this fog is all around. How gnarled all the roots are, how sick and diseased the trees here look. Many of them are bare. There's very little vegetation, although there is some greenery. Looks like just little patch patches of, uh, of like thriving brush. Good. You get out of here. That wasn't a falling death, was it? Nope. So he's still gonna be sniping at us from somewhere. I can make that. Hey, basilisk. Many, many basilisks here. All over the place. The fog that they spit out is very similar to uh, the Death Blight spell, Fia's Mist. Now we're going to smash all the barnacles here. And since I still don't know which remembrances, like off the top of my head, I don't remember which ones are duplicated where, I'm going to hold off on actually using this one, but... while we're here, we'll make sure the doors are open. What? Oh my god. I thought I was gonna die. Jesus, don't scare me like that game. Nope. Torn didn't want to even want to come out. And 
now. This this uh area we will come back to. But I'm gonna go off in search of another spirit spring and another site of grace. Uh, because there is a boss that we have to deal with before we really progress to the end of Deeper Depths. Should be hanging out right at the base of that big tree that we're heading towards. Ah, there's the Spirit Spring, which means the Sight of Grace is somewhere in the opposite direction. Also, beetle up here with probably an ash of war, though this could be... Uh-oh. Is that one going to get away? I'm going to try not to let it. Where? Where, 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 where? Oh, there you are. Come on. Good. Hope it's not a somber... Damn it. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, let's... Oh, that must be it across there. So we'll just circle around this big building here. Man, spirit springs are useful. Oh. Oh, this room seemed super suspicious. Thought I was going to get ambushed coming out. And then I'm guessing the Sight of Grace is up here on the right. The Depths is, is kind of a confusing zone for me, so... Keeping it all straight in my head sometimes gets the best of me. Uh, that being said, we're done with most of it. At least most of the navigating. Now it's just about sussing out a couple of a uh, couple of extra things, and then going back to the area with the, all the tree roots and the mausoleum, and well, you'll see. I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> Here we go. Another Crucible Knight. This is the one with the Great Spear. And generally, these ones I think are much easier than the other type. I don't think either of them are super bad, but... These ones are slower, which means they're much more punishable. Which means they're faster. <laughs> to deal with. One. This big swing, they love ending combos with it. Very punishable. Oh. I thought that was... Oh, that's too early for the phase transition. No wonder. Okay, couldn't quite get away with it. That's fine. This is why I love that attack. You can squeeze, even with a slow weapon, you can squeeze an attack in while they're winding that up and then punch them again afterwards. Whoop. Gotta watch for that. What range good? Oh, I didn't mean it. Whoa. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't mean to jump, but still, I didn't think that was going to be a, a mistake that got me killed in one hit. All right. Yeah, you can even do that really late. And 
still have time to recover afterwards. Okay, let's get inside the tree and flask up. This means that there's way less of a risk of me, like, rolling off the edge to my death. Which, aside from that grab, is the only other way that I feel like I'm losing this fight. And then next hit should be the stagger. I command the kneel! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same thing that happened last fight. <laughs> Oh, two... Did I roll two? Yeah, I, that was too early. Oh, that... Yeah. Okay, that's fine. One health or full health, it doesn't make any difference at this point. The only thing I'm worried about is going to be a one-shot. Nope. Great enemy felled. Silurius tree. And in the chest behind them, the entire Crucible Knight set. Very dope set of armor. Helm of the Crucible Knights who served Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. The Great Tree ornamentation is the Knight Siluria's mark. Displayed also by her men, holds the power of the Crucible of Life, the primordial form of the Erd Tree. Strengthens aspect of the Crucible incantations. Siluria's Tree, weapon of one of the two honored as foremost among the Crucible Knights. Primordial form of the Erd Tree is close in nature to life itself, and the spear, modeled on its crucible, is imbued with ancient holy essence. With the weapon art being called Siluria's Woe. Siluria can now rest in peace. And we can move on to the main event of Deeper Depths. And what a main event it is. Well, hmm. The main event has a main event. Very much like to avoid randomly getting death lighted on the tree. Shouldn't be a big concern, though. I've never been up top here. I can get down, right? <laughs> I can get down, right? <laughs> Let's not even take the chance. Not like it's a complicated area to get back to. That guy'll never know we were here. Whoops. Really? Only a rank one? What is even the point of that at this point in the game? You have a crucible knight who can one shot command grab me. And you're giving me rank one golden roots? Video game? <laughs> Have you lost your mind? Rank one? Okay, surely I must have misread and that's rank 11 or something. There's no way they would give me a rank one rune. Alongside the Prince of Death staff. Equally powerful artifacts, staff embedded with sullied amber, said to be a very said to be a very part of the Prince of Death, enhances death sorceries. One of the staffs deemed heretical by the Academy for its ability to allow sorcerers to be augmented through faith 
in addition to, atel- to intelligence. So, of course, we have another weapon that scales with me. <laughs> There's a lot of those. Ever since that was pointed out to me, I can't stop noticing every weapon that scales with me. There are so many. It's very much our, uh, our beast talisman, a la Demon Souls. Okay, now this is the main avenue, I think. Yep. Which means one or two more of these. Something to pick up on the... Golden Rune 5! Moving up! We're gonna be rich at this rate. We're gonna have enough to, to fund, like, almost... one twentieth of a level up. If we keep collecting at this rate. Maybe we'll be able to buy a stone sword key when we see a merchant. Won't that be exciting? Maybe we can buy some pebbles if we save up. Thrilling. Rank one. Rank one! The zone features the culmination of an end game quest. One that gets you one of the game's endings. Rank one runes! <laughs> But now that we've reached this across the roots, Grace, uh, it's time to go back to Round Table Hold to make a detour. Because speaking of quests, we have a couple of those to progress, including D's and Fia's. Greetings. And yeah. also, do you have new diet? No, you don't. Oh, that must be for when we rest in Altus. We haven't rested outside of Grace in Altus Plateau yet. Ah, okay. Took you for no matter it's layout, you're up. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Yes. Yes, and I definitely have a nine. Yes! And what are we getting the anchor up to? Ooh. One off. Alright, enough of that. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold the blessing is still a would you like now? Come closer. You are so very warm. My dear, might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back. If you wouldn't mind. I'd like you to find the owner of the dagger. It's a very precious. Then good day to you. A dagger with a special place in someone's heart. That's a very pointed phrase. Dagger received from Fia, the deathbed companion. She wishes for it to be returned to its rightful owner. It was once a special weapon of gold and silver intertwined, but is now worn down and marred by a black gash. The gold and silver is your only hint. And there is someone in the round table hold with a silver and gold motif, intertwined even. Well, what have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good. 
Did you need something? Did you need something else? No, we don't. Let's just rest at the table. And D is no longer here. Not only that, in this wing of the hold, Fia is also absent from her room, but there is a new door opened up. O oh, rusted dagger, this is thy sheath, there rust, and let D die. This gives us a really good look at the death blight. Buzzing with flies, and what at first I assumed to be thorns are like insectile wings budding off of them. And his set is called the Twinned Armor Set. Helm depicting, depicting entwined twins of gold and silver. The two, known as D, are inseparable twins. They are of two bodies and two minds, but one single soul. Not once do they stand together. Not once would they speak to one another. Perhaps this armor longs to find its way to the other D. That's right. From Roger's letter, we did learn that D has a twin brother. If I can find it. His armor is very similar to Lawtrex, actually, the favorite set that had the arms molded into the chest part of it, making it look like he was being embraced. There it is. Forgot to tell you, but it seems D has a younger brother. I heard he's in deep sleep in the aqueduct beside the eternal city of Nakron. It stood before it said he stood before the Prince of Death. We've we've met him. We came across him. It is returned to its rightful place, the stolen Hallowbrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well, though I ask you deliver this message to the Round Table Hold. I am Fia, Deathbed Companion, Hark Round Table. Disturb not the death of Godwin, the exalted. We, who humbly live in death, live in waiting. To one day, welcome our Lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our Lord will rise. The Lord of the many and the meek. Fi is finally playing her hand and revealing something about herself. And yet nothing that we've seen really goes against this image that we've gotten of her so far as kind of a saintly figure with a lot of compassion. Yet she also seems to have killed D. But the main thing that we know about D is that he is a hunter of those who live in death. This puts him in a natural opposition to Fia. And Fia seems to have like a real affinity for for those who live in death and those who have been spurned because of it. A group, by the way, which, like, our character, the Tarnished, is a part of. We are the dead who yet live. I don't know if the game or the fiction of it considers Tarnish to be the same as those who live in death. But if not, I don't know that I, I, I don't know that I see a distinction between them. So like I said, we did meet Dee's brother earlier in the Sofra Aqueduct in Nakron. And we are going to go return his brother's armor to him. By the way, this one uh, is Devin, and his brother, the one that we just found dead, uh, Fia's hand in Round Table Hold, is Darian. I think you only found you only find Devin's name out if you kill 
uh, Darien in Limgrave. We will leave him to mourn. Because now we have to go back to... Deep root depths. And now for something that is as metal as it is confusing. The corpse of Godwin. Splayed out in the same pose he was murdered in, even. Except... He has the body of a fish, almost like a merman. And that face again. That's where it gets confusing. We saw that face in Stormvale Castle's depths. So what is this? Or what was that? I'm not completely sure. Uh, oh yeah, this starts right away. I believe that this is the true body of Godwin. I think the low storm bell is just like a particularly large growth of death root or death blight, if there's a distinction to be made, uh, that maybe Godric was studying or trying to preserve because he holds the golden lineage in such high esteem. Even the apparition of Roger. I read somewhere it might be the source of the corpse wax that he uses for grafting, which I think is an interesting theory. And the reason I think that is not... Oh, hold on. This part's actually kind of rough. Mainly because of Lionel. And that. Oh! Oh, I'm dead. I'm super dead. Yeah, that's rough. Every time he casts it, you can see that half-wheel wound to the centipede that Fia talks about. The mark of death. Whoa. Oh my god! Am I just not taking this seriously enough? I think I might be underestimating this fight too much. Oh yeah, that's the way! Not a chance. Let's see how it takes to Roger. How Roger takes to it. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Did get a chance to pop my bubble, though. Jesus. Ah, ah. Oh, here come the skulls. Eee. God, I hate Death Ranker. Can't have to wait those out. They track like hell. And even if you go if you dodge through them, they will do a full 180 and keep pursuing you. Oh damn it. Fancy dodging time. Okay. Yep, and they still wind back again. Two in a row. Gotta wait him out. Just gotta wait him out. Okay. 
good. Oh. Just as the one was coming to an end. Ow. Every time they cast, you could see that mark of death. Come on, come on. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. He would have a lot of poise. That's a pretty heavy armor set. Ah. Two in a row. Three in a row. Okay, right now. Yeah, that last part gets to feeling a little bit dicey. Thanks to all the Death Ranker skulls. Ah, there you are. I knew you would come. What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways, like the dogmatic brutes of the Golden Order. You are an odd one. I am the guardian of those who live in death. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Yet you still wish to be held by me? Oh no, my horns! Fia! Watch out! Uh, she's been impaled. Have you ever seen a hollow brand? When the first of the demigods died, his flesh was marked with the half-wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's hollow brand has since been recovered at the Round Table Hold. But there is another hollow brand out there somewhere, and I must find it. Before the time comes, we receive our Lord. When Godwin died, a hollow brand scored his flesh, but another exists. Another mark in the shape of the half-wheel wound of the centipede, and I must find it. Before the time comes, we receive our Lord. My hands will be dirtied once more by the deed. Will you still let me hold you, even then? When Godwin died, another and I must before the time. When Godwin died, another and I must before the time come. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.